Welcome to the GigaSmart Overview Training Module. In this module, you will learn about GigaSmart software applications and licenses. After completing this module, you should be able to list the GigaSmart applications and describe their benefits. Identify the platform types that can host specific GigaSmart applications. List the licensing options available for using the GigaSmart applications. The GigaSmart Intelligent Packet Modification Platform has a growing number of applications. There is a set of training modules that describes each of these GigaSmart applications in more depth. These applications include SSL decryption, masking, packet slicing, source port labeling, GTP correlations, IP tunneling, header stripping, adaptive packet filtering, application session filtering, data deduplication, NetFlow generation, and FlowView. For an up-to-date list of software applications and their licenses, refer to the GigaSmart datasheet and user documentation. Now let's take a closer look at these features. This table and the following tables list the benefits of each GigaSmart application. Packet slicing reduces packet size to increase processing and monitoring throughput. This feature can greatly aid confidentiality compliance efforts and also optimizes the deployment of forensic recorder tools. Masking conceals private data within the packet by overriding selected portions of a packet as it is forwarded. Examples include financial and medical information. Masking empowers network monitoring and security tools to perform their tasks and while hiding sensitive information and maintaining compliance with PCI and other confidentiality requirements. IP tunneling encapsulates and forwards packets to monitoring tools between networks on separate routed paths. This feature enables routing of data from lights out data centers to central monitoring facilities. It also extends visibility into the virtual fabric. Using ER span tunnel decapsulation, GigaSmart can act as the receiving end of an ER span tunnel, decapsulating span or mirrored traffic sent from a Cisco switch or router. Both ER span type 2 and type 3 header decapsulation are supported. Header stripping eliminates the need for monitoring tools to understand protocols such as VLANs, MPLS, VN tags, VXLAN, and some tunneling protocols. It allows virtually any monitoring or security tool access to traffic by removing headers as packets are forwarded. Load balancing is included with most GigaSmart features and permits selected traffic to be divided between multiple tools. You can even include ports operating at different speeds to accommodate the bandwidth differences. Or to accommodate the processing capabilities of the attached tools, you can weight delivery of traffic on a per port basis. GigaSmart can even perform stateful load balancing for GTP tunneled traffic and load balance the sessions from ASF session-based filtering. Adaptive packet filtering provides advanced visibility into the application layer by filters based on outer packet headers, including VXLAN, VN tag, GTP, MPLS, etc., as well as inner encapsulated or tunneled packet headers. Using regular expression pattern matching, APF is able to match on almost any sort of variable or string, almost anywhere in the packet. APF can also mask sensitive information in the packet before it gets stored, helping to maintain compliance with PCI and other confidentiality requirements. Deduplication relieves tool processing demands or avoids analysis misinterpretation by forwarding a packet only once. It removes packet duplication caused by aggregation of traffic from multiple collection points or from unavoidable switch span or mirror configurations. Deduplication also optimizes the stored traffic duration period for forensic recorder tools. Application session filtering forwards traffic corresponding to application sessions to security appliances, increasing their efficiency and performance. Application session filtering tracks flows based upon adaptive packet filtering matching to find applications such as video streaming, email, web 2.0, and other business applications. GTP correlation optimizes tool infrastructure by accurate filtering, replicating, and forwarding monitored subscriber sessions. It correlates GTP data and control traffic from tunneled subscriber sessions so that tools are able to properly inspect packets. GTP correlation also supports stateful filtering based on IMSI, IMEI, and MSISDN subscriber IDs. NetFlow generation provides enhanced network visibility by generating a thorough, unsampled set of NetFlow statistics. It frees the routers and switches from NetFlow tasks, allowing for higher efficiency and more effective remote monitoring. 
sampled NetFlow may be configured if complete detailed information is not required. SSL decryption can be integrated directly into the visibility platform offloading encryption tasks from the tools. It can be fully integrated with multi-tier security solutions. FlowView provides intelligent sampling of high volume data from multiple subscriber tools. It can intelligently track active subscribers and make big data manageable. GigaSmart software application licenses are available on all GigaView HD series nodes. An optionally available GigaSmart hardware line card is required for these licensed software applications to run on GigaView HD series nodes. The GigaView HD series GigaSmart line card provides two 40 gigabit backplane attachments which may be allocated as required to support all of the licensed software applications. Multiple GigaSmart hardware line cards can be combined within a single GigaView HD series node to expand capabilities and throughput. Refer to the user documentation for available configurations. The GigaSmart Intelligent Packet Modification Platform is required for GigaSmart software applications and licenses. The GigaSmart Platform is an optional blade on HC series. It is available in both a front and rear module. Both front and rear modules include slicing, masking, source port, and GigaView tunneling de-encapsulation. Additionally, the GigaSmart front module includes 16 SFP Plus ports. Up to five GigaSmart modules, four front and one rear, can be populated per GigaView HC2 to provide scalable performance up to 200 gigabits. Like the larger GigaView HC2, the GigaView HC1 is also a modular chassis, but it also has fixed ports and GigaSmart built into the base chassis. The GigaView HC1 offers the same software features and functionalities as other GigaView H series nodes. Refer to the user documentation for information on the capabilities of the GigaSmart software applications supported on the GigaView HC1 series nodes. The GigaSmart hardware is included in GigaView HB1 nodes. GigaSmart software application licenses are optionally available for GigaView HB series nodes. Refer to the user documentation for information on the capabilities of the GigaSmart software applications supported on the GigaView HB series nodes. To be able to accurately quote GigaSmart products, you need to know the following information. The GigaView HC2 rear module and GigaView HD series GigaSmart line cards come with a base software license for IP tunneling, packet slicing, masking, and source port labeling. Most other GigaSmart applications have licenses that are sold individually. The ASF application requires its own license and an APF license because it operates only when APF is running in the same system. Different GTP licenses are available depending on the maximum number of subscriber sessions being served. Refer to the GigaSmart datasheet for a complete list of licenses for all GigaView H series products. Additional details can be found in the individual training modules for each of the GigaSmart applications as well as the user guides. In this module, you have seen the GigaSmart software applications and licenses. You are now able to list the GigaSmart applications and describe their benefits. Identify the platform types that can host specific GigaSmart applications. List the licensing options available for using the GigaSmart applications. This concludes the GigaSmart Overview Training Module. Thank you.